Hey guys, me Game Changer RV, and today we'll be looking at the brand new insane SBCs that I've just dropped today in FIFA 22. So guys, I've done a video all about Serginio Dest and whether I think you should do him or not, because uh, I think he's a fantastic card. And make sure you go and watch out that video for my full opinion on him. Um, but it turns out I have missed something. We have got a huge SBC that's just been released, a massive SBC that you may or may not be able to do because of the fodder you're going to get from Team of the Year. So we've actually got a mid or prime icon upgrade here today. And that is so, so big, it's unbelievable. Like the prime icons are now in icon packs. You get 98 Pele, 96 online. The list just goes on and on and on. And you can be packing yourself one of those or even the mid version of those. So you might have packs saved up like me. I've got over 100 saved up right now. And I'm going to rinse them all on Friday, I think. Yeah, I'm going to go on, on Friday and open all of these packs well, when the 12th man's in the packs as well. So, if you guys want to see that, make sure to subscribe and turn on notifications. But, I will surely have enough fodder to be able to complete this middle prime icon pack. Am I saying, am I saying I'm going to do it? No, no, no. I'm not at all saying I'm going to do it. I might do it. But... I'm not gonna right now because you, you guys might not have heard this but there's going to be it's been leaked that there's going to be a flashback around SBC and he's going to be like 92 rated with like 80, 88 pace or something so that's why I'm a bit skeptical to do this middle prime micro SBC because there's going to be a flashback Varan who's probably going to be around 700 800k which is the same price as this SBC or probably even more <coughs> sorry guys I think that that in the long run that's going to be more worth it. Unfortunately, if we're being serious here and just trying to be professional and trying to save coins and stuff like that, I think that the flashback variant SBC is going to be more economically successful in the long run because it's going to have you know what you're going to get with these middle prime icon upgrades. You could get, say, for example, a mid Perez or a mid Inzaghi. What would you do then? What would you do then when you trade in an 87 rated squad and two 86 rated squads, one with an inform, one without, and an 85 rated squad to get an unusable player? That's my point, guys. You don't have to do this SBC. And even if you are going to do it, just wait until the flashback run SBC comes out so you can decide which one would be a better option because if you go ahead and do this right now, and then you don't get anyone good and then you want to do Varane but you can't because you've blown all your fodder on this then that would be a really really bad situation for you and he's a, he's a once um, once in a game opportunity chance to get him because he's not available in the transfer market and after his time's expired you're not going to be able to get him again which is going to be really really sad if you miss out on him so that's what I'm saying guys make sure you don't miss out on cards that you really want to use just because of an icon upgrade so thank you so much for watching this video guys, I hope you enjoyed it. If you did make sure to smash the like button and also subscribe. Make sure you guys turn on notifications so you never ever miss a video on my channel and I'll see you guys next time. Thank you for watching.